Hello Morales, my name is Joseph and I am your Web3 instructor. In this video, I want to show you how you can get all ERC20 tokens owned by a wallet address. We're going to use Morales, the Morales SDK and their API that is provided to us, which means we don't need a bunch of unnecessary code. This is going to be very clean and very easy. And I will show you how you can build the same app. But as always, before we jump into the code or into the documentation, let me actually demonstrate to you how the app really works. So I have already gotten an example wallet address that I'm going to use. Um, you can choose to use the same or another one that's up to you, but we're going to paste that wallet address into our input field. Hit submit and boom, there we have it. In this case, we have four tokens in our wallet. We can see the logo. We can see the name of the tokens and the balance. So I will show you the response that we're actually getting back, but I decided to only choose these three values. Now, before we can use the Morales API, we need to create our free account. So make sure you go to morales.io, create your free account and log into that one. Once you've done that, go to Web3 APIs and there you have your API key which you will need in order to make the API calls. Now make sure you keep this key private and to yourself. Perfect, so let's jump into the documentation of this SDK. Now, set up your own project with Next.js, and then you will have to install Morales and common EVM utils in order for us to use the SDK that is provided by Morales. Now, after we've done that, I have basically copied this code right here and tweaked it a little bit. I will show you how it looks like in a moment. Now, before we check the response that we're getting back from Morales, I want to show you that below in the bottom right here, you have some more information, some more documentation about the API itself. And you can see that you have different parameters to use, only address being the required one. Now, we're going to use Node, but if you're using another backend language, you can choose your own preferences from here you can copy from here or even try it down here to see how the response would look like. Now it's not valid because we haven't inputted a, an address in this field. So if you think this is interesting enough, let's jump straight into the code so I can show you how to build this. Perfect. So now we're in Visual Studio Code and we don't have lots of files. There's only, only three I'm going to show you and basically one we're going to focus on. So the first one is index.js, which is the home page itself. In here, we're rendering two components. The first one being header, which includes the title and then the image on the top left corner, which is the logo itself. The second file that we're rendering is the main component. So let's go straight into that one because that's where everything is happening. So in here, we have already installed Morales and the common EVM utils, which means that we can use EVM chain provided to us. But what do we really need in this application? We want to show the results only once we have results, which is when the user hits the submit button. So we're stating this to false in the beginning. We have the result itself, which is an empty array that we're going to populate with the response we're getting back from Morales. And then we have the address. So once the user hits the submit button, we're firing up this handle submit function. The input field itself has an ID of wallet address. So that makes it really easy for us to extract that value right here and store it into address. Now we're going to use Ethereum so we can take this data out through the EVM chain function provided by the Morales SDK and store that data in chain. Now, to make this even easier, we can just use the start function and add one parameter, which is the API key. Now, this will let us do the API calls. But as I said before, keep your API key private. I've done it like this. I've created an env.local file in the root of my folder. So once you've done that, go to your login. Make sure you copy your API key. Go back to the code into that env.local file and paste that in. Now you need, I have chosen to use this name, next public Morales API key. 
you can choose your own name make sure you don't have any spaces between the equal sign and then hit save and close this up now you can use this keyword process.env and then the name you have chosen in the env.local file in order for you to use that API key. After we have done that, now we can use Morales once again and use the get wallet token balances with two parameters, our address and the chain we have chosen. Now let me show you how the results looks like. I have console log the response as it is coming back from the Morales API. So let's jump back to the application right here. I'm going to open inspector console and you can see that we have an array with four values, which is each for every token in there. And if we're opening up the first one, we can see that the response is very clean. We have the balance, we have logo, um, we have name, thumbnail, token address, and so on for each and every one of them. So having this as a response, we can decide how we want to destruct these values and what we want to extract from this object. In our case, we have only three showing. So let's go back to the code. So I will show you how we have done that. The response is as good as it is once it's coming back. So we're going to store that in result. And then we want to set show results to true and we want to empty the input field. Now down here is where we are rendering everything and that's where we're choosing what to show and what not to show. First of all, we have the form with the input field itself. We have the button and then below that we have the section with the results. So we want to map through the results because we want to create a box for each token. And in there we want to have the thumbnail, we want to have the token name, and then we also want to show the balance, the amount. If you have, if you notice in the response, we're getting this number of the balance right here, which is 18 decimals. And we want to uh, make this look a little bit better, kind of like this with two decimals. So it's easier for us to read that. And we can do it right here using the balance and the decimals to calculate how it should look like and adding two decimals to it. Now, let me go back to the application and demonstrate that once again, I'm going to close this one up and refresh this page. So let's paste that uh, wallet address in once again, hit submit. And there we have it. So it's as easy as that as clean as that you can play around with the UI to make it look however you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you have learned how you can use the token endpoint of Morales API. If you've learned a lot, and like this video, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you also subscribe to our channel because we share a ton of similar Web3 developer videos using the Morales API. I hope I will see you in the next one.